um, they're the orange ones. So I had about 12 of them in my hair. And each twist had its own flexi rod. So that's how many twists I had as well. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a hair of the day and a face of the day. Okay, so I'll start off with the hair and then I will go on to the makeup. So for the hair today, I did a twist and curl. I've been loving the twist and curl, oh my goodness. And my hair was completely dry. I had washed my hair and um, let it air dry with a little bit of like leave-in conditioner in there and it air dried and it was so thick and so hard and it felt really dry. And I decided I was gonna use the um, Organic Root Simulator Olive Oil Smooth and Hold Pudding. And I think the reason why I chose to use this was because I haven't used it. I bought it uh, several months ago and I just wanted to give it a try. So I decided to use it and I like the result. I, I, I actually filmed a review of what I think about this product. But I love the way my hair looks. I think it looks really good. Um, I love how full it is, you know. The volume is there and I think it looks really cute. I've been loving the twist and curl and these are the flexi rods that I use. A lot of people have asked me since my previous flexi rod uh, tutorial uh, video, my takedown video, and also people who have seen me talk about flexi rods, twist and curls on Facebook and Instagram are asking me what's the size and I don't know. Um, they're the orange ones. So I had about 12 of them in my hair and each twist had its own flexi rod. So that's how many twists I had as well. Uh, I um, I wet my hair with water because it was really dry um, and I put on some coconut Jamaican black castor oil and then I put the smooth and holds pudding on each section. I didn't detangle, my hair was knotty and it still is. Separating this bad boy was like, oh damn. <laughs> But um, that's just what I wanted to do. You know, I love trying new things with my hair. So no detangling and I just um, used this, the, the pudding and this is what I got. This is my result. So I really like it. Um, yeah, so let's go on to the face. So as you can see, I got my face beat, honey. <laughs> And would you believe it if I told you I have absolutely nowhere to go? I I did all of this in the name of learning. Uh, and one of my favorite pastimes when I do get some free time is to play in makeup. And I'll watch some of my favorite beauty gurus and I will try out their tutorials. And whether or not I look at the look and I think it will look beautiful on me or I'll look crazy, if I feel like the tools that they're using and the colors that they're using I have in my arsenal, I'll give it a try. Um, and so you can see today the eyes are green with envy and the face is like super glam. Um, I actually followed the tutorial from B Face Honey Honey. <laughs> Listen, for those of you who are about to say, Janelle, you can't sing, hey, save yourself the energy, because I already know. But I just love her intro. I love it. It's so cute. So um she has a tutorial and I will link the tutorial that I followed for these green eyes in the description box so that you can go visit her, support her, and check out her channel um, and see if you wanna try out the tutorial. Um, I, I probably won't be doing a tutorial on these eyes because it was so detailed. I don't know if I'm confident enough to reiterate it, but if enough of you want me to do it, then I will. Um, but I'm just letting you right now, letting you know right now that it's a hard look for someone who is um, not a makeup artist, but a makeup enthusiast. <laughs> so, all right. I'm not gonna spend too, too much time on the on the face today because there's so much going on. But um, I'll talk about my foundation and uh, some of the basics. So I put on the MAC Prep and Prime. This is my favorite primer. And then I use the MAC Match Masters. My color is 9.0. And I put that all over my face. I highlighted some areas so you can see the highlight going on. It's really light under the eyes. And I do like the um, triangle kind of like the Kim Kardashian highlight, and I do it down my nose as well, and I use the MAC 
Pro Longwear, and the color for my highlight is NW4040. Um, I always set my liquid foundation with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, my color is Dark Deep. For my blush today, I wanted to go with something not so pigmented but much more shimmer accent my highlight. So I actually used MAC Sweet as Cocoa. So I want to talk a little bit quickly about some of the brushes used, which is something I don't usually do in the face, but I noticed from my um, my makeup collection and storage video that a lot of you are interested in brushes. Now I always put the details about most of my brushes in the description box, but I don't always list each one. Um, for my liquid foundation, I either use my Sigma stippling brush or I use, which is a dual fiber brush or I use the flat kabuki. When I want a very dramatic flush airbrush face, I use the Sigma F80 kabuki brush. This brush will give you the most smooth airbrush flawless look. I mean, I absolutely love this brush and um, I have a code for Sigma Sigma Beauty if you want to go and check out some brushes and you're looking to um, increase your brush collection or invest in some very, very professional brushes, I highly recommend you go with Sigma. So yeah, all of my brushes that I have here today are by Sigma um, and the Sigma brushes that are in here are all of the brushes that I use on my face today. Actually, I have one e.l.f. brush in here. Um, e.l.f. you can get at Target. This was put. This is what I used to put on my primer because it's really inexpensive. It's so inexpensive that it's like broken. Um, get yourself some professional brushes if you can because they make even the cheapest makeup look extravagant, okay? So um, now when I go onto my eyes, you'll understand like the brushes that I use and how come the application was so good even though I used a cheap palette. I used my e.l.f. palette from um, Target and this is the bright eyeshadow palette. The green color that I used here today is um, this like forest green color right there. So that's like the main color used. I did use some other colors to give me the, you know, the rest of the look. I took a brown color from the neutral elf palette. I use this reddish brown color here and I use that to uh, fill in under my brow. Um, as a base, I used this golden color here and then I used the neutral palette and put on this reddish brown color here. No, yes. This reddish brown color here um, right underneath that area and then um, use some some of the the blackout color from the Urban Decay palette um, and yeah go watch her tutorial you can see everything that's on my eyes um, as far as colors go I don't have her I don't have the products that she has and um, for my lips this is my favorite nude lip that I made a video of and I will link it here somewhere so you can see and also in the description box so that is my hair of the day and my face of the day. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every couple of days. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.